Top color is used in my open drug infographic. My infographic uses red and orange and black as primary elements over a white background with gray accent. Two shades of orange are being used to encode information throughout the graphic, including the trend lines and symbols that are used throughout the graphic in various locations. In addition, it's used to trigger associations between data elements, and it's used to distinguish the title graphic from the rest of the text. The red is used to exclusively to highlight critical symbols on the map and headings throughout the dot and headings inside the text. I use black exclusively to provide precision text and additional explanation for elements when required. And the dark gray is used for supplemental visuals like the uncoded countries in the map and the hierarchical lines in the relationship graphic. Light gray is used for framing elements to provide visual hierarchy over the white background. My color model uses a similar set of colors for similar functions. Instead of using two shades of orange, it uses three shades of orange because in a number of places it needs an additional highlight color that wasn't required in my own graphic. However, it does encode primary data symbols in orange and the, the title in orange as well. Both infographics use red exclusively for heading and emphasis text. However, black is also used as emphasis text within the model, whereas I chose to not use the black to model to emphasize text as I did not have as much text required requiring emphasis as in the model model. As a result, the model uses a dark gray for de-emphasized text where I was not necessarily doing that because I didn't have de-emphasized text as much. Finally, the infographic uses the same light gray framing over a white background. These colors result in an analogous color scheme centered around the orange that I use for data encoding. I use deeply saturated colors that max out their hues. In addition, I use very bright colors along the wheel with um, very little variation along the high end. This is intended to create a vibrant and energetic look to the infographic. In addition, the red highlights are intended to echo the healthcare theme found in other infographics like red crescents and red crosses. Finally, the white background is intended to make the information pop off the page. 